Hello students and I welcome you back to the YouTube channel of Lalba Girls. Myself, your Ekta ma'am. My today video is for class 12th students and my subject for today is macroeconomics. Students, in my previous videos we have discussed many topics which were related to this chapter. Now moving ahead we will discuss the next topic which is in your chapter. So students, in this video we will study about the law of diminishing marginal utility. So, according to Professor Marshall, the additional benefit which a person derives from a given increase of the stock of a thing diminishes with every increase in the stock which he already has. Which means that when we consume more and more of a commodity, the satisfaction we derive with each additional consumption tends to decrease. Take an example, a person is very hungry and gets six slices of bread for himself. Now when he starts eating the first one then the satisfaction he derives will be more as compared to the satisfaction when he consumes the last one because at every stage his hunger will decrease and hence the law of diminishing marginal utility operates. Okay now you can see a table in which the units and the marginal utility is there. So, when we consume one slice of bread, it gives us 25 units of marginal utility. As we increase our consumption from one to two slices, the marginal utility decreases and becomes 23. The third slice gives 19 units of satisfaction. And when we consume the sixth slice, then we get zero marginal utility. And when we increase, our level to 7th and 8th slice, our marginal utility becomes negative. The same has been shown with the medium of a graph also. First is 25th units, it is marked as M, then it starts declining and then it becomes 0 and when we consume more than 6 units then it becomes negative. Now we come to the assumptions to the law of diminishing marginal utility. The first assumption is that the unit should be homogeneous which means that the commodity should be the same in quality and quantity like if we are consuming bread then it should not be changed with the consumption of fruits. The second is that the process of this consumption should be continuous and should be at the same period of time. It should not be like that that we are eating something in the morning and then at the night. The, in this case, the law of diminishing marginal utility does not apply. The third one is that the price of the commodity and its substitute should remain the same as the price also affects the demand for the commodity. The fourth one is that the taste, habit, fashion and income of the consumer should remain unchanged. The fifth one is that the mental outlook of the consumer should remain unchanged so that like a person is eating 5 chapatis a day, he must consume the same amount of chapatis, he should not increase or decrease his consumption. If he does so, then this law will not apply in this case. Now we move forward to the last topic of our video today which is exceptions or the limitations of the law of diminishing marginal utility. What are these exceptions? These are the cases when this law does not apply to any situation. So the first one is that there should be no change in the consumer's taste preferences. The second one is that only standard units of the commodity are consumed like a cup of tea or, and not a spoon of tea. Okay, in this case, this law does not apply. The third one is suitable time. Like if we are consuming something at 8 am, then we should be in continuous in consuming the rest of the commodity at the same time. If we consume something in the night, then, then this will not reduce our satisfaction. Okay, so then the next one is it is not applicable to money and rare collections as if the intensity increases as we collect more and more of these articles. The rest are also some types of uh, cases in case of consumption of intoxicants, in case of change in other person's stock and many other cases.
with this we come to the end of our video now thank you children for watching the video